Hey, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. How is it that for years, nobody could break the four minute mile until a guy by the name of Roger Bannister ran a mile in four minutes? And today, there are high school kids who can run a mile in under four minutes. How is it that Mount Everest was never able to be scaled until two gentlemen in the 1950s were able to do so? And now thousands of people have been able to actually climb Mount Everest. Somehow knowing that something is possible, believing in yourself can make all the difference. In this week's Parsha, Parshat Shlach, the Miraglim, these spies, are sent into the land of Israel to scout out the land, and 10 out of the 12 come back with a really bad report. Lo nuchal la'alot, el ha'am, we cannot go, we can't do it. Eretz ochelet yoshveha, they said, the land, its inhabitants will devour, the giants that are inhabiting the land, the cities are too fortified, we can't take Israel. There's a very revealing statement that actually helps us understand thousands of years later, why was it that the 10 of the 12 tribes, who were these great distinguished Nisiyan, these tribal leaders who went into the land to scout out the land of Israel, what was the reason they gave? Very, very interesting. They said, that in our own eyes, we were like grasshoppers. And so we were in theirs. It's very interesting. They said that, we were like tiny little grasshoppers relative to the big giants that inhabit the land of Canaan, the land of Israel. But they told, they understood what was happening because we saw ourselves as grasshoppers, as nothings compared to who was there. So we were in their eyes. So too are we in their eyes. So often the way we portray, the way we present ourselves to other people is often the way other people will see us. If we think highly of ourselves. I don't mean arrogance, God forbid, if we have a, a decent self-esteem, other people will see us that way. Why it says, love other people as yourself. Because you can't really love another person if you don't sufficiently love yourself. We project very clearly what we're feeling about ourselves. And so my bracha to all of us on this week as we go into Prashab Shalach, the sin of the spies, is to think about what we're really capable of doing. Of course, if we say, I'm not capable of running a four-minute mile or climbing Mount Everest, then I'm not going to be able to do it. And maybe I can't run a mile in four minutes or climb Mount Everest. I probably can't do either. But there are a lot of things I probably could do that I'm not doing because I don't sufficiently believe in myself. The Jewish people could have entered the land of Israel at that point. And they ended up being punished and having to wander for 40 years because they themselves did not believe sufficiently in their own capabilities. Do you? What is it that you're not doing now that you could be doing because you're not sufficiently believing in yourself? whether it's on a professional career path or it's spiritually speaking, we could all be going further if we just believed a little more. Shabbat Shalom.